Richard Beach here from Sonic State Amp, that's Sonic's guitar channel, and today I'm with Nick from Black Label Society, who's here at the NAM 2013 show. Day 2013. two for you. Yeah, 2013. Same. It's crazy. Yes. So we're only a few days into 2013 I know. though, so. Dude, I almost wrote 12 on somebody's yeah. audio. Yeah, I gotta get the 13th thing. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, have you seen anything really exciting at the show so far? Yeah, I mean, everything's cool. I mean, uh, yesterday I didn't have to do any signings or anything, so I could actually walk around and check out booths and yeah. stuff. I saw Zach was here. It's the first time he's been in AM for a long time. And he was signing massive line, obviously. Yeah. And uh, no, I got to see him and uh, got to see, it's like a big weird band camp. You know? It is all, yeah. Yeah, it's like different genres. You see a bunch of different stuff. It's cool, man. I bet there's so many people. You know. Have you uh, have you ever walked past the brass and percussion section? Yeah, like, uh, it, it's like when you go, it's like you your your mind is like you have brass, big band, yeah, metal, country, blues, jazz. <laughs> You're like this is like music extravaganza. It's like yeah. a giant big band all playing out of time. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you were up at PRS. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Were you, so were you uh, just ch chatting to guys up there? I saw you saw Mike, didn't you, from uh, Alice in Chains? Is that right? Yeah, so Mike and his, um, I actually got to meet Neil Sean, which was, a, that was awesome. You know, yeah. he, uh, he came in. Um, but yeah, I was up there. They're debuting my, my 2013 PRS yeah. signature up there. And, and uh, yeah, you know, saw Neil walk in. I'm like, that's that's him. And they're like, <laughs> you want to meet him? I'm like, yeah, you know. And got to meet Neil. That was awesome. But uh, yeah, me and Mike, you know, obviously he played with us. So yeah. We played with Black Label. And it's uh, it's cool. I mean, it's you know one of the only times you can actually get together and see guys that you haven't seen in a long time. And, you know, see how they're doing their road stories and stuff so it's, it's cool and uh, a couple of hours ago you were signing autographs here at the Dean Markley booth yes uh, the Black Label Society family worldwide is uh, it's a, a big, huge it's, and very welcoming family so it, it, what's it like meeting the fans oh awesome awesome I mean you see it's it's crazy when you see tattoos of yeah the band and like your signature on their own it's that that really freaks me out it's right. like I mean <laughs> it, well, it's you know I'm a guitar player yeah you know what I mean I don't I hate the rock star. The you just want to play guitar. Yeah, you know, I'm a musician. Yeah, it's enough. like when, when somebody has your name and they said tattoo it on your arm, I'm like, what a what an honor. I mean yeah. you're you, you know, I go home to Pittsburgh, I go home and I'm home with my dog and my fiance and we're like, Yeah, it's cool man, but like there's somebody with your name. You know, I was like yeah. If I met Keith Richards or George Lucas, yeah, maybe I'd get that <laughs> tattooed on my arm. You know, but it's 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 cool, man. It's an honor. So, uh, and also, well, I'm guessing you're using Dean Marcus strings there, and that's why you're here. God, yeah, you got my and signature set. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was chatting to Nick Wheeler from All American yep. Rejects yesterday, who was here. He said he'd never had a set of Dean Marcus strings break on him. No. In a gig. You What's never... cool about it, too, is these, uh, the Helix set, it, it, like, I don't really sweat that much when I'm playing, but it doesn't dull. Right. You know what I mean? Like, my guitar tech can actually do maybe, I tell him, like, do, like, two or three shows. Because we switch often, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, there's, like, Zach sweats profusely. So every day he has to change his. But, like, I can get away with playing two or three shows and they're still bright. You know, a lot of attack. They yeah. don't really dull out, which is it's awesome. Are you using uh, you use a twin set of JCM 800 lives? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Obviously, that's a huge amplifier. So, what are you using when you're on the road? You know, for practicing and stuff like that. I have the mini Marshall. Right. The, 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 I want the, the little tiny. Not 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 okay. not the belt loop one, but yeah. but, the, but the one like the Zach Micro Stack. Uh, okay, you know what I mean? Cool, yeah. It sounds incredible. I, I mean, I think for this acoustic DVD we're shooting in March, we're going to use it. Right. Just because we don't want four by twelves and, yeah. and three, you know, two hundred watt EV speakers blowing people out of the <laughs> out of the acoustic ambiance. But it sounds amazing. You know. Yeah, yeah. And then for home, I teach actually I teach guitar on Skype. Yeah. And uh, I use that for for teaching. You get a lot of sustain. It sounds cool. And I don't even need pedals. But live for the. For the for the live rig, it's the hundred watt. Um, have you got have you guys got much planned live for 2013? Summer tour. show in March, don't you? But we're doing the acoustic DVD in March, yeah. and then uh, summer. Okay. I think we're going to do the states because we haven't played in the states for, for a while, actually. So. And uh, any news on when you might be back in the studio recording after after, after, yeah. after that tour? So, okay, great. Yeah. 
So we might see that maybe next next, next, year. next year. Yeah. So if you're back here in 2014, I'll be asking. I'll be here. Yeah. 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 Okay. And when you're playing live, then are you using? Uh, I mean, you used a few pedals. But, yeah. Yeah. It's um, a little plywood. Yeah. Piece of. Uh, well, so you've actually got those pedals on stage with you rather than using a switch. Yeah. The only two that we have in the back, we have the Eddie Van Halen Dunlop uh, right. flanger. For a crazy horse, and it's only just our tech just hits it. It's like a couple yeah. times in the song. Okay. Uh, the chorus pedal, the, the uh, Dunlop chorus pedal. Yeah. In the back, because we we pretty much keep it on all the time, so right. it's on. So we, you know, it kind of just condenses down to one chord going out to us. But out front, I have the uh, I have the Roto Vibe, the Dunlop Roto Vibe, yeah. the, the uh, Cry Baby. Um, the overdrive pedal, the Dunlop overdrive, yeah. and a, a carbon copy delay. So, cool. No using, gate. We were using Dean Morley stuff a while ago. Was that? That was when I was doing the Speed X thing. Okay. Was, yeah. But it was pretty, with Black Label, we're pretty much using Dunlop. I mean, do you have a different amp for that as well? I remember. Well, I was using Fuchs for a while right. for a while because they were they were setting me up, but like they have great amps, but it's almost like for blues. Okay. They weren't breaking as much as I really wanted to, so yeah. I went back to my to my Marshalls. Sure. It's just like like you know, and you know, I love the companies and stuff, but I love when people go, "We'll make you an amp that sounds like a Marshall." I'm like, I have a Marshall. Like I'd rather like, drive a Lamborghini. It's yeah. a Lamborghini. <laughs> then drive something that's yeah, kind of like a, a Lamborghini, yeah. you know. But it's you know, and even with the 800s, we're we're using those because they're the only, obviously, the only tubes, all tube, yeah, not solid, you know, solid state. So it's uh, I mean, it's a really easy, simple rig. But it's you know, people are like, do you use noise gates? It's it's the volume knob, and, uh, and I'm constantly tap dancing with the pedal. Right. You know, like for uh, stillborn, whatever we're doing, like stillborn, it's like da 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 off on da 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 da. It's like because it's going to be feedback. Yeah. You know, and everybody's asking that. How do you have no feedback? I'm like, get your tap pad pedal work. going. And it's yeah. like, yeah. I mean, that's it's just knowing how to control chaos. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you've been using PRS for about is it about five years now? Yeah. And it was Washburn before that. Yeah. So what's new on your 2013 PRS? I wanted to go more simple because, like okay. my my uh, like the first one came out, it was the black yeah. with red binding with the logo on it. And the thing that I messed up on was I thought I was being cool <laughs> and I was going to put red binding with black dots. Right. First time I went on stage, the lights Didn't came on, nothing. Yeah. And I don't even have fret markers, <laughs> so I was like panicked. I was like, oh my god, like I don't even know where I'm at. So this new one, I said, first thing, white dots. I need to see it. Yeah. We put the, we put normal binding on it, and it's just a red flame top, you know, still you know mahogany maple, you know. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the the chrome EMGs, and it, it, just two knobs. But it, you know, I wanted to get something where if somebody liked the guitar, there's not a logo on it, you can still play it. It's a red red flame top. Yeah. So it's like you're just playing a red flame top hall, you know. So. Yeah. Sure. Well. Uh, I follow you guys on Twitter and Facebook, yeah. and uh, I promise I'm not stalking you now. But I remember no, yesterday cool. you uh, you had something about the fret light system. Uh, yes, I just saw it. I, it yeah, it blew me away. So what blew is that? Is that uh, it's, because I haven't seen that, but it sounds it's interesting. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm teaching actually, like I said, on Skype, so this right. can actually help me. Okay, these guitars plays awesome. You know, it's a regular guitar, but. What it does is you hook it up through this, this, you know, your Mac or whatever. Yeah. You can actually download tablature into the into the computer program, and, the and it up brings it. up where. Oh uh, wow! Like, let I me mean, play me a slash tune. Yeah. And it was showing me the intro. Then you can slow it down, right. and it keeps the tone. Then it'll you can do intro verse each part of it, and it'll bring it up. Then there's a paint a paint button to where you can teach a scale. Yeah. And if I said, okay, we're going to do like C major, A minor, um, you know, the three note per string scales, you know, like the diatonics. Yeah. All right, here it is, one, two, three, two, three, three, five, blah, blah, blah. But then you can paint, and it just stays on the fretboard. So you can have all seven scales <laughs> in that whole key. So you can actually, you can do like uh, blues scales, country scales, whatever, and it just paints the whole neck with all the right notes that you want to hit. Or it'll light it up, so you can say, okay, play what I just played. Nice. Then it's like, oh, okay, you missed the note, paint. <laughs> and it brings it back up again. It's like, I could actually teach like five students at once. Right. 
from my house. On like a on a Google Hangout or something. Right. Like that. Yeah. And then everybody, if they get a front light, nice. have it. You know, have like okay, this is what the lesson is. And if I and if one of them can't make it, I can email them the file. Right. And it, it'll bring it up on their oh, guitar. That's cool. Well, that's it's cool. amazing. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'll have to go and check it out. Now. Absolutely. Uh, so Absolutely. other than that, what what's the coolest thing you've seen at NAMM so far? Do you think? Have you had a chance to see? Oh, um. um Actually, you know what? Uh, Dean Zielinski came up with those guitars, his own uh, custom guitars. They're phenomenal. He's adding a lot of cool different uh, neck textures yeah. and stuff to make it so it doesn't slip. You know, everything gives you, it's almost like a grip, like a baseball bat kind yeah. of grip. It's, it's cool. I mean, it's, the, the cool thing about it, I see people taking instruments and, and, and uh, with technology nowadays. It's like people are like, technology kills things. It's like, if you use it right, yeah. Even with you know, like the fret light thing, it's it's you can make technology work in your favor. You know, but if you like, obviously if you, you know you abuse something, it's you know it, it sucks. But well, that's what you uh, you see a lot of that now, where sometimes technology taken too far is oh yeah, and it yeah. it dies. Ab but absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you you know you do it right and you do it classy. It's yeah. like, you know you can really come up with something cool. Cool man. So what have you got planned for the rest of the show? Um, I'm actually done, you know, so yeah, yeah I'm going to probably just walk around for a little bit more and we have Morton reservations, <laughs> so I'm going to eat good, have some steak and I fly home tomorrow. Oh so. man, that sounds good. Absolutely. I wish I could do that. Right? Right on, man. <laughs> Alright man, well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, bro. And uh, thank you guys for watching at home.